Hi, I'm Erica Gamet for Ajar Productions, and I'm back with another customer example of how IN5 can be used to incorporate interactivity into an InDesign project. This example comes from a company called Aruba, and it's a digital showcase highlighting their customers' stories. In fact, it was a winning design in the recent American Digital Design Awards by GDUSA. If I refresh this first page, you can see the first bit of animation comes in, and the page replicates the print version of the piece. While it's essentially an interactive version of that print piece, the interactive version was purpose-built to give the best digital experience. So the layout and the type were all taken into account to deliver a piece that works well on a screen across multiple screen sizes. And the addition of those interactive elements just really kicks everything up a notch. I love this animated signature. It was created in After Effects, but then placed in InDesign as a GIF. You can see on all the pages as we go through that there are animations that are simple, yet they do a lot to elevate the piece above something like just a static PDF. It was designed to draw attention to the customer on each page, but not to the animation itself. It's just a nice way to add some movement, but keep the focus on the customer stories being told. Each section starts with this nice visual moving in. You've got the photo and then the icon for the category. I'll just go ahead and type in a page number and jump to a new section down here from the page finder. This piece really shows how you can add interactivity, which doesn't need to be splashy or over the top, but just delivers a punch up consistently and smartly. By leveraging tools like InDesign and In5, you can elevate a straightforward print piece to a visual pleasant and engaging digital reading experience for the end user. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out In5 at in5.us. Thanks so much for watching.